Okay, you've been given the task to put these functions into your calculator, but we're going to use GeoGebra to do that. So uh, I'm not going to do these exact problems because you're going to do those for yourself, but I am going to uh, make up one. So let's uh, let's do that. So y equals, and then for the first number, I'm just going to roll. Um, how about my eight-sided die? Uh, looks like I got a six, and let's roll maybe my six-sided die for the inside. So this is a 2 to the x. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into uh, GeoGebra. Okay, so y equals 6 times 2 to the x, but I'm going to use function notation just because it makes it easier for me. So f of x equals 6 times, so I use the asterisk and then parentheses 2 to the x, so I'll use that up arrow, x, and there it is, so let me move this around, okay, so it looks like it goes through 6, and going up in our classic exponential growth type curve, okay, so what do, what do we want to do is look at the values in a table from 0 to 6, so I'm going to go to view, spreadsheet, and let's go ahead and put uh, 0 to 6 in here. So I can do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so these are the integer values for x. And then I want to find out what is the value for f of x. So I say equals f parentheses, which is f of this value. And I want to put in 0 or the value of cell A1. So hit enter, and now I'm going to copy that formula down so I hover over the corner and drag it down. Okay, so looks like the values are each time we are multiplying by 2, right? That makes sense because this is 2 to the x. So it starts at 6. 6 times 2 to the 0. 2 to the 0 will be 1, so then uh, it goes up by 2 each time. Each time we're multiplying by 2. So that's a little bit of how to use that in GeoGebra, and you're going to go ahead and make some charts of your own and fill in your packet with those values from 0 to 6, and then make some uh, inferences with that. Okay, best of luck.